see this there, dude. I need to find a new better location. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Self Improved Nate, and I'm back with another video. I hope whoever's watching this video is having a wonderful day. You know, I hope you're having a wonderful day for real, because there's some people out here that are not having good days out here, and I want you to cherish your day. Uh, every day that you wake up, every day that you get out of that bed, every day that you plan to do something, I want you to cherish that day, because that day may be the day that whatever you planned on or whatever that achievement or that goal that you had, that day might be the day it comes. So every day, appreciate. Appreciate that day. I appreciate the man above that I'm still alive to this day. You know what I'm saying? Today, I just wanted to sit down and talk to the camera and stuff like that and really talk about being accepted. Being accepted can be put in so many categories, um, but the the one category that I want to talk about is accepting yourself. You know, here and there, there's a lot of people out there that really don't accept themselves, and they just go on day by day knowing that they don't accept themselves. I've came to a moment where I haven't accepted myself, where I didn't accept myself. I feel like the reason why I didn't accept myself is because of the standards that I was putting myself forward. The standards that I know were too high and I know I'm not even at that level yet. I didn't accept myself because of the way I dressed. I didn't accept myself because the way I was moving. You know what I'm saying? Through school or through life, you know what I'm saying? I didn't accept myself. but. You know, ever since I've moved from my hometown, I came to a point where I had to accept myself. Like, you know, ever since I've moved, I've been thinking a lot. I've been thinking heavy about my own life and the life decisions that I'm going to make ahead, you know? Like, I'm out here. I'm 16. About to turn 17 in about, I don't know. 20, 26 days, 25 days. But by the time this is recorded, it's probably going to be a little less more days. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, ever since I left hometown, it's like I started to accept myself. I started to accept the things that I do, the things that I, I wear, the, the, the way that I move. I started to accept that because... Ain't nobody other than probably your mother or God is the only person that's going to accept you, you know? And accepting yourself comes along a very, very, very long way because once you accept yourself, your, your confidence, it goes up, you know? Your confidence goes up. Your energy boosts up. You feel more alive. You feel like you want to actually go out there and go get it. Or or you actually want to do better in life because you accepted yourself. And you accepted all your flaws. That's the thing, though. Accepting yourself means all the things that you require in your life, you have to accept it. Even if other, other people don't really like it like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to accept it yourself because without your train of thought, it's really, it's really pointless to others. You know what I'm saying? If you just moving around with no thought or nothing like that, bro, the same way from other people, from other individuals is going to result into you. So once you figure out that thing, once you figure out why you don't accept yourself, then I feel like it's more to change that thing to accept yourself because you just walking around clueless or you don't know what you really want to do in life and you don't accept yourself, you're really not going to get nowhere, bro. And once you accept yourself, you see things very different. 
You know what I'm saying? Went to it, said, boom. Oh, uh, this is how things is gonna go. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Accepting your thing, accept, uh, uh, accepting yourself can be, I say, a good thing and a bad thing. You can accept yourself for the bad things or whatever you do that are negative, you can accept that. But what I'm trying to bring towards the people that are actually listening or the people that are actually viewing, I want to bring the positive side of being accepted. I want to bring, I want to tell y'all about that. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm still working on being better, I'm still working on myself. I'm still working on accepting myself. At the end of the day, I know before I lay my, my, my head on that bed, on that pillow, is that I accept everything that I do in life. And I feel like in my opinion, the way you move through life is really the way you accept things in life. You know what I'm saying? The way you accept things in right. You can accept things in a bad way or you can accept things in a good way, like I said, but we're going to stay on the positive side because, you know what I'm saying, we try to get better. And really, like, I'm just sitting here. I'm really just talking really just talking my head off if you really be serious but some people gotta learn how to accept they self I tried to teach somebody how to accept they self but they still have those negative thoughts and in order for you to accept yourself like I said you gotta get rid of those things those things that you were doing or those things that piled up in your head you gotta get rid of those things in order for you to accept yourself and, and really, I really made a video a long time ago about self-healing, you know. I really made a video about self-healing, uh, I'd probably say like two, three months ago, i say. I made a video and it was about self-healing and stuff like that. And, you know, during that time I was trying to go into my self-healing stage. <laughs> You know, but it really didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? That's, let me just put it like that. It really didn't work out. Relationships was was bottled up in my head and stuff like that. And I was in and out of a relationship, you know. And I, I was over here trying to self-heal myself without accepting the fact that there's certain things in my life that are not allowing me to accept myself. And I know I'm probably sitting here on the camera just rambling and talking but there's it, it, there's a more deep meaning behind this of, of accepting yourself man there's really a real deep meaning behind accepting yourself and good thing that i wrote these things down because you know me talking off of my head is like yo what am i talking about but i might be saying some real stuff though you have to know your intentions you have to know your intentions with yourself what do you want to do with yourself? How are you going to get into the stage of accepting yourself? So that's where, what are your intentions? What is, what is your intentions in, in healing? Uh, what is your intentions in accepting yourself? Is your intentions good? Are your intentions bad? Like, what, what, what is your intentions for yourself? And what do you want to achieve in life? The one thing I'll say that I really want to achieve in life, what I want to achieve in life is is accepting myself. And I said this a couple of days ago, um, back at the crib. I, I, I said this to myself. I said the one thing that I want to achieve in life, if it's not materialistic things, because of course we have materialistic goals that we want to achieve but the one thing that I want to achieve in life is learning how to accept myself learning to approve myself even if I'm in a bad situation a bad time in my life or a good time you know 
And that one thing that can keep me going is accepting myself. And I, I, I feel like just me sitting down, talking to the camera, I feel like I accepted myself. I accepted myself to sit down and really talk to y'all and really like, you know what I'm saying, bring out information for y'all and, and really let y'all know how to, 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 to do these things or how to achieve certain things in, in this life that we live in, that God placed us here. After you figure out all those things, you have to dig deeper. You know, like I told one of my friends, my, one of my friends, um, I told them, you have to dig deep in your life and accept the things that you do or there's, there's a reasoning behind the things that you do. Either you like it or you don't like it. If you don't like it, like I said, get rid of it. But if you like it, accept it. You know what I'm saying? Accept it. It's all about building yourself. It's all about making sure that you come first when you're trying to figure out your own life. After you figure out those thoughts, those things in your life, once you figure, once you figure those things out, there's, I say, two things that you can do. You can improve. You can improve in those things in order to accept yourself. Or you can get rid of them to accept yourself. You see, there's two ways where you can accept yourself. The things that you're doing, if you feel like you're lacking in them, I feel like once you figure out that deep thing that is stopping you from accepting yourself, you can improve in that. What what can I do? What can I do in my life to accept myself? I can improve in certain things. I can improve the way I move, the way I dress. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you go on forward into accepting yourself. Just dig deep, dig deep, brainstorm, brainstorm your thoughts. It's okay to think, it's okay to talk to yourself because on me, when I don't be on the phone or anything like that, I'm either, you know what I'm saying, I'm either talking to myself and really getting deep in my thoughts and really seeing like, what am I actually doing in this, in this life that I live? Am I move? Am I going? The, the, the way that I want to go Am I going towards my goals or anything like that And even if you're not in the position Right now I, I'm not in the position right now To go forth in the things that I want to do But I know soon I am And I'm going to and, and I'm gonna accept that And I'm accepting it now Because I'm building I'm building the base You know There's one thing that I, I heard From I think it, the, the Ragnar School is an old man that I watched, you know. One of his videos, he was talking about build the resource, then build the life. My motto for that is like, build the base. Once you build the foundation, once you build the ground, go for the resources. Once you go for the resources, what you do next you have the base you had the base you had everything laid out okay this is what this is this is what I have next is let me go get what I need well not what I need but let me go get more or let me use the the the, the, the base or anything you know what I'm saying whatever this results into whatever you want to do in your life let me use this base to leverage me into my resources. Once I get the leverage into having those resources, then I can have the life. Y'all know what the life is. It's what you want. The life is what you desire. The, the life is what you build. You know what I'm saying? The resources help for that life. Some people are already higher than where I'm at. 
Some people are probably higher in a higher level than where I'm at. But I still accept that even though I'm in this type of level, you know what I'm saying, if we're talking game-wise, if I'm in this level, I'm going to accept that because I know once I build my base, I can build the resources. The resource is going to boost me up. It's going to be boost me up a couple levels. Once it boosts me up a couple levels, it's like, boom, I have the base. I have the resources. I can keep going. I can keep evolving in my life. And then once I get to that point, once I feel like I get to that point where I know the life is there, go at it, bro. And the thing is, like, you are the only person that can really stop yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can, you're can. you the only person that can stop uh, accepting yourself. You, you can be the person that don't want to do nothing in your life, don't want to do shit. That's all on you. That's all on if you want to be better. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to spread the message and document my life and grow as a person. If you in a dark place or if you in a struggling place, you have to learn to respect and discipline yourself. And after respecting, disciplining yourself, which don't have to be one day, everybody's not perfect. That's why you build on it. Once you learn how to respect, discipline yourself, build the base, build the resources, then build the life. That's the five steps right there. For real, for real. Respect, discipline, base, resources, life. Because in order for you to go through life, you got to learn discipline, of course. You got to learn being respectful. But it's, it's like you got to do that for yourself. Like, is you going is you gonna to respect yourself? Is you going to discipline yourself in order for you to move on into the next next level of your life? Like, it really, it, it, it's really all up on you, for real. And that's what I be telling some people. I be telling some people, it's really all, it's all up on you, bro. It's all up on you. That's your choice to make. It's not my choice to make. And I hope you pick the right one, you know. Disconnect yourself from all the negative thoughts, bro. Like, that's the thing. That's the one thing that I've been doing lately, ever since I've Ever since I moved my home, like hometown and stuff like that, like I've been distancing, I've been distance away from the negativity. I've gone away from trying to be sad, even though we're human and stuff like that, and we have emotions. Of course, we're going to be sad, but I have disconnected myself from those negative thoughts. And even if those thoughts do come, I I have a switch where I can pour out the positivity or I can influence myself the positivity so I can get away from the negativity. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so it's like, bro, like, when you move on with life and after you accept yourself, bro, you're way more happier than you, 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 you're gonna be happy way more than you were. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna, you're gonna be way more happy than, than what you were. Be passionate about your healing, which also the topic of this video is accept your healing. Accept the way it's going. Be passionate about yourself. Be aware about yourself. And at the end of the day, once you follow all these things, you're going to become the person that you want to become. It may not be right now. It may not be in, in a week, but if you keep going every day, accepting yourself, being passionate about becoming a better person, then I promise you, you're going to become the, the person that you desire. And I hope everything that I said in this video, I hope y'all at least took a little, little, something little, you know what I'm saying, even though I was all over the place. But I hope y'all took something a little and, and, and planted it in your life. You know, accept yourself. Learn to, learn to be respectful and, and discipline yourself. Once you got those down and you want to evolve in life and keep going on in life, build the base. 
build the resources, build the life, build the person that you desire to be. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Um, I really do because honestly, when when I'm sitting down talking to the camera, I I I, I feel accepted because ooh, I wouldn't say when I was younger, but as I grow up in life, I try to seek validation from other people or seek acceptance. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to say the word, bro. God, me. <laughs> But I, 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 I tried I tried to feel accepted from other people and I seen that that wasn't gonna go nowhere because you know it wasn't as people was human so I had to come into my first person point of view and and really sit down and think about life and, and really be like if nobody's gonna accept you accept yourself I hope y'all having a wonderful morning, evening, or night, wherever y'all watching this. It's your boy, Self Improve Nate, and we out.